everyone. I have to say I love you so much to be able to do this because I don't use the square box of tissue. So I went out and got this to show you how to make the square box of tissue cover. I have the interfacing right here that I'm using for the template and the interfacing I'm using is um 14 inch and um three four so three quarter of an inch and then the long way down is 15 inch and a quarter it's extra but I just want to be in the safe side so you this is the easiest way to make a template you go to fold it in half and then you can draw the line and then you fold the other way press this four block right there the tissue box that I on the top right here that is four and a half inch all right so on this side on the center right here you're going to go up to and two inch and a quarter go down two in a quarter two in and a quarter two in and a quarter you going to create the block the center so two in and a quarter just start marking all around it's sack okay so that two in and a quarter right there and then come down two in and a quarter this side same way two in and a quarter and so two in and a quarter right there okay do all and then when you're done you're gonna go from the side here you're going down two in and a quarter so you're doing that to create the square box in the center Now I have the square right there. This is for this. The, the best way is it's easiest. You go to go like this. Okay, you're gonna lie this down. I'm gonna create another line. Like that, okay? And then you go on to go from here to the left. You go on to lie it down to create another side. Okay, like that. You're gonna place it right here. And then you're going to light it down. This way. Now you create another line. Okay, now you're missing the one on the top here. Lay it down. And that is this okay so now I'm gonna go and cut this out so you're going to cut this way this this and this I use the uh, midway interface and everyone. So cut this way out too also. So everyone, after I cut this out, this is going to be like this. And then you want to make sure you place it right there and then you go to fold it up. Fold it up and see everything meet together. Everything perfectly meet everyone. Okay, like this. So I have the paper right here. This is two inch by two inch and half. I'm going to fold it in half. And I fold it again. I'm going to create the oval shape. You can do the square too if you want. But I think oval is better. And then on the side. On the side. 
of this small piece right here. This is the fold. You're going to do like half an inch, mark half an inch. So only on the side, this is the fold, go half an inch, fold this together like this. This is the two fold, big fold, and then this is this. I'm going to create this oval shape. Then you have something like this everyone. I want to make sure this is going to the full of the far side here. So this full right here meet this line. So like this. So then you have something like this okay. Now I am going to find a fabric. I'm using this one and I'm using this one. I want to do like reversible. You can use two sides. You want when I place the interfacing down here so I can iron. I make sure all around here I have enough half and ends all around. Okay, so go half an inch cut in all around here, half an inch all around everyone. Everyone I have cut two. This is the um, second piece I cut. I'm going to place the right side to the right side. The one with the um, oval shape, it stay in the top. So you You see the oval right here? You go around and then you go on to sew it this one. Okay, only on this oval. So everyone, after I sew that the oval right in the middle, I just want to let you know that when sometime when I sew the little thing, I don't need to really show you on the sewing machine because most of you are very expert here. I don't have to do that. So now I'm going to fold and the center right there. Make sure both of them right here on both. You see how I cut both of them on this too. So now you're gonna go around and then you can trim this. So now you're going to pull this out. On the top stitch all around. This one right here top stitch everyone very close to here. Go oh, very slow all around it. So after I top stitch all around here now you go on to do this. You have two sides right here. We're going to do this side first and then you go on to the other side. So first you're going to hold any side but you're going to please do on this. Okay and then you go on to sew it in. I would do a quarter up and inseam allowance. We're going to sew it out to here. You clip your pin, your whatever you want to do. So sew this in 
I'm going to show you so you know what I'm doing. So that one side, and then you go into this side. You're going to do exact the same to create this box, everyone, on one side. So a quarter of an inch, so this one, same thing. And then go to the other side, do exact the same to create this box. Do exact the same. Clip together and now you can see the box that we have on one side right here. Okay? So just do that everyone. So a quarter up and inseam allowing for four sides. You see what I'm making? I create a box here. The other side you're gonna do exact the same. But we're gonna you see that fold right here? You're gonna go and cut a little bit right here so we can fold it down and iron it. All right, everyone. So now you're gonna do this, open this, and then you can open the sole line and then you iron it on four cone size. And then the other side where of this box, we're going to sew exactly the same and repeat this step to this one, everyone. A quarter up and inseam allowance, so all around. On each of the box here, I'm going to fold it in a quarter of an inch all around this. After you you did it here a quarter up and in you can do the same thing to this side a quarter up and in you can you can fold it in and I'm going to bring this over like this so the right side can come out and meet the other right side so same thing you go on to bring the sole light of this over to the sole light of the other one clip it around you can see we have four side this is one side two and three four this is a square box everyone so after that you go on to fold it like this one side of the square right here cut this five in half and just elastic right here and I'm going to place one end in like that And the other side right across right across the square the other side of the square right here you go going to add the other elastic side in so do the same thing press in the center and then bring this side over place it here just like that right in the center I'm gonna clip it down and so now you're gonna go around and top stitch this side all around I'm going to make sure I'm gonna use something pointy if you sew on something I'm gonna sew it the side of the fabric gonna be the side of my um 
press vào foot That's where the elastic I went back and sew a few times. And now basically that's it. And so are so everyone. I am finished. And this is the elastic right here. Place it right on top of here. You just hold on to the elastic. Take the elastic and then hold on to this. Ta da! You have a tissue box made by you. And then I'll go on to the other side. The other side. It's called reversible. Okay, this side is cute too. Oh, both sides of fabric is beautiful. Look at that. Look at the whole, whole beautiful. I'm good to keep saying that. All right, so I'm gonna go down same way. Ta-da! Another one. Look so so cute. Very easy to do, and it cover on the bottom here too. Pull it all the way down. I didn't pull it all the way. So look at that, everyone. Look how cute that is. And then the tissue coming out. Very easy. Stay safe and take care, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. And I am so sorry that you have to wait for a long time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to support my channel, everyone. And I just want to say thank you so much for the people that donate to my channel. I will use that to my more material for my future video. Stay safe everyone. Thank you for watching.